A controversial conference is happening in Happy Valley this weekend. It offers to convert homosexuals. It's a notion many find offensive, so we sent Cor Harlan to ask the tough questions of the group's leaders. I actually think that we're opening a horizon to better mental health. At the heart of the Restored Hope Network's conference this weekend is the desire, they say, to help people with same-sex attractions untangle issues of their past, the group says, has contributed to their current homosexual desires. That sort of talk is offensive to many in the gay community, so I asked the board chair of the group if those assumptions could actually be harmful to gay people. Their self-esteem makes them feel bad, makes them even feel suicidal at times. Mm. Uh, how, do you, how do you respond? I'm you, sure you've heard that before. Yes. How do you respond yes. to that? Um, I would say more people are inclined to suicide when they have all the freedom they want to to be homosexual and realize at the end of the day, this isn't all it's cracked up to be. Comiskey says it's an all-volunteer conference this weekend tailored to people who are in same-sex relationships who are looking for a way out of them. Yeah, I did that when I was transitioning when I finished straight camp and was trying to figure myself out. Meanwhile, Jason Ingram a self-described bisexual shows me his photo. He calls it broken. A depiction, he says, of his life and feelings after going through a residential recovery camp for men dealing with sexuality issues. A straight camp, he calls it. An experience, he says, was not good for his self-esteem. Some people who've gone through it say it works. You've went through it. What do you say? Well, the question should be, uh, what's the point in trying to change somebody's sexuality. Jason will have a conference of his own while this weekend's Restore Hope Network meeting goes on. Both Jason and the Restored Hope Network seek to bring more people peace in their lives, but they have very different ways of going about it. So, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News. Thank you, Cor. We have an update now on a story you first saw on 6. Police are now